A significant river cleanup effort shocked us all last week as dozens of decades old cars and lots of debris were removed from the water. The organization that brought in a barge and excavator couldn't believe how much they removed in just three and a half days. And they tell KDKA they have more work to do and they'll be back the first week of September. Around 120,000 pounds of cars, boats and debris pulled from the Allegheny and Mon rivers downtown. And this crew isn't done pulling for Pittsburgh. There's still more to get and uh, if there's more after that, you know, we're we're picking until we can get as much as we can. Callie Shazer with Illinois based nonprofit Living Lands and Waters says she didn't think they'd fill up their barge as quickly as they did last week or that they drag out 60 sunken vehicles. This was the most cars they have pulled from one area. Many believed to be from an old parking lot on the Allegheny River, possibly washed out by floods or dumped. The cars that we were pulling were definitely from like the 60s, 50s, 70s. They have been there a long time. We got a tow truck that was kind of cool, um, a station wagon. So there was definitely parts where you could tell the lights on the, the beetle was super old. 10 to 12 of the cars removed from the Mon River were newer and more intact. Living Lands and Waters partnered with Three Rivers Waterkeeper, Pittsburgh River Rescue, and a group of divers from Cincinnati. All this twisted and rusted metal is heading to a scrapyard, and Living Lands and Waters will get paid for that scrap. The organization is coming back after Labor Day weekend to get back to work on the Ohio River. We're moving more boats um, and docks and different things that have been kind of eyesores along the Pittsburgh um, central area on the Ohio. They'll eventually go down the Ohio and do a shoreline cleanup to remove old boats, barrels, and tires as well. Shazer says it's all worth it because all the corroded junk is dangerous to people and wildlife. That stuff that we were was leaching into the ground in the mud and we'd pull that up and you'd smell the fuel. It was it was not a, a good smell, um, but to know that the fish and wildlife are going to be healthier because of this, the water quality is going to be better.